Have you ever wondered the proper way to strip AC90 cable, or formerly known as BX? Today we're going to show you, so stick around. There are two ways to strip armor cable. Um, basically, the proper way, and then the lazy electrician way. And we're going to show you both today. Um, so this is a piece of armor cable, obviously. Now, at the end of this, um, you, we usually strip off 8 to 10 inches to go into whatever we're hooking up. So that may be... A uh, hot water tank or a furnace, uh, basically anywhere where the wire is below five feet, it needs to be mechanically protected. So this is mechanically protected armor. In order to get this right, uh, there are rings that go around this AC90 or armor cable or BX or whatever you want to call it. Um, and you have to cut across the rings. Be sure that when you're cutting across the rings, that you're cutting uh, across them this way and not across with the rings themselves. And when you put the hacksaw in there, you only want to go in just enough to break the outer parts of the rings. You don't want to go into the wire, which is very important because if you scan the wire or get into the wire, then you're going to have issues with dead shorts. So I'm left-handed. I'll try to show you this the best I can here. But basically, you're going to take your hacksaw, line it up, uh, probably on a 30-degree angle, maybe a little less, more like a 22. And you're going to cut it a few times to get into the piece of AC90. So what you're going to do after you have your notch cut in your wire and your groove from your hacksaw, as you can see right there, I'm through about two of the rings. You're going to uh, go away from one another or against the rings. So clockwise one way and counterclockwise the other way twist your hands apart and that's going to snap it open just like that and then you can just simply pull it off. So this exposes the end of the wire. This is actually the paper uh, coating inside that protects the inside of the wire and helps with anti-shorting. But to go one step further, we always install an anti-short on top of the conductors. So we squeeze that in there, get that in nice and tight, and then we'll pull the insulation off. Sorry, the paper coating. So once the paper coating is gone, then we can install our connector and do our termination. Now here uh, in Canada, we use what's called an L16 dry connector. There's a variety of different type of connectors that you can get for these, but this is mostly what we use. And this just simply goes down over the AC90 armored cable and then gets tightened into place. And then you have a lock nut that you can put your connector right into whatever you're wiring, your hot water tank, your furnace. So that is how the proper way to terminate a piece of armor cable is. So now we're gonna show you uh, the lazy electrician method if you don't have a hacksaw. Um, we don't recommend to do this, but a lot of electricians will do it if they're on site and they just don't have a hacksaw with them. Basically, you're gonna take your armor cable and you're gonna snap it. And what you're, what you're actually doing is bending it, that you're exposing the end of the, uh, or the inside of the armor cable. And then we're gonna take our side cutters and we're gonna cut against one of the ribs in the armor cable, just like that. And then we open it back up and it'll simply pull off. Just like that. So as you can see, it's an easier way for us to strip it. The problem with this is right inside, as you can see, it's now bunched up. And there's also an area where this is rubbing against the side of the conductors. If you don't straighten that out, and we just shove our anti-short on there and our connector, over time, that's gonna rub into the wire and it's gonna cause shorting, which is why we don't recommend to do it. But that is the lazy electrician's way to strip armored cable. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.